but life is good. Life is good for sure. Any critique of yourself in the video game? Anything we could do better? Um, I just wish my jumper was a little more consistent, but maybe I got to show <laughs> something in the season. We'll see, though. But maybe on this one, we can get my jumper a little better. All right. We'll see. Thank for you sure. so much. I appreciate it. Tyler, you're getting a... 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A view of our setting here tonight, as you can see, the lights of stunning downtown Atlanta. The postseason continues to heat up here on 2K Sports. Game two of the Eastern Conference semifinals on the way. And on tap tonight, it's the Atlanta Hawks going up against the Boston Celtics. Along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry and our sideline reporter, Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Ali, take it away. Hey, Brian, you could say the alley-oop is perhaps the game's most exciting play. Ricky Rubio said that 80% of the credit should go to the finisher. LeBron James said, quote, the worst passes often lead to the best finishes. And Lonzo Ball said, when you have someone you trust to catch it, you can pretty much throw it wherever. Oh, yeah, he's had some good ones, Allie. Thanks. Taking a look at Boston. As expected, they lost game one. But there were some positives within that game that they're hoping to build on. There really were some positives. I mean, consistency is a key for them this series. It's not enough to string a couple of good plays together, not against this opponent. And the starting group for the Celtics. Tatum at four, while Williams patrols the middle. Then it's Jalen Brown. Then it's Neesmith. And for the Hawks, in the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. Collins at the four with Capella at center. Now here's Young. Tight defense on him. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. Campbell gets the bucket. Look at how Tatum <laughs> surveys the whole floor. That's how he spots the wide open man. Pass to Bogdanovich. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. The defensive effort was lacking a bit, but hey, give them credit for finding a weakness there. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here's Tatum. No good on the triple. Outside Young. Kicks it out to Collins. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. John Collins continuing to show that he's willing to work on that three-point range. It's Williams, high post. And Clint Capella picks up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. <laughs> kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Pass to Neesmith. Into the lane. Six on the shot clock. Here's Campbell. Let's it go from deep. Here's Neesmith. Over Capella. Neesmith's shot is off. Clean look from mid-range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. They get it back. Kicks it out to Collins. Capella controls the rebound and the putback. Refusing to give up on the glass, Capella truly works for his rebounds. They're searching for a way to score. Yeah, buckets have been very tough to come by. Here's Tatum. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. 
was so sick, the vertical ability. That was flat out awesome. He has that effortless knack for getting to the hoop. Now here's Collins. Pass to Bogdanovich. Outside Young. And he lobs it up to the rim. And a slam dunk by Capella. Trey, scoring is one thing, but Young's ability to set his teammates up just as important. Now Brown. Outside Tatum. Collins with the rebound. Atlanta's gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Here's Capella. Up again, Atlanta. Big man John Collins seeing the court that time. For Boston, they've gone two of six from the floor. Pass to Tatum. On the take. Collins with the defensive effort. Is it getting cold in here? This, this is a tough one. Crucial that he starts to work a little harder for a higher percentage shot. There's Young with the three. Hits the trifecta. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flowing rhythm to their offense. Outside, Williams. Pass to Tatum. The shot to stop the run. And the layup is up and in. Tatum's got the second bucket on the night. With the skills of a guard, Tatum has the size of a power forward. It makes him so tough to stop inside. Let's it go from 11. They get the rebound. Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has timeout, paid timeout. dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Timeout called. The Celtics trying anything now to get them out of this slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. And looking at these playoffs so far, here are some of the players who have been distributing the ball the best. Second, Trey Young. I really admire how he seeks out his teammates. His selfless attitude and desire to get his guys going is what makes him such a valuable player. Here's Campbell, guarded by Young. Pass to Brown. Five to shoot. Good D by Bogdanovich. For him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Pass to Young. The rebound by Neesmith. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Here's Campbell. Outside Tatum. Soft touch off the glass. Tatum's got six. The more strength Tatum puts on, the more effective he becomes, especially finishing through contact. Young, the pass to Collins. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Pass to Neesmith. It's Brown on the wing. And he drives in. Capella with a block. And he's able to get it back. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for Atlanta. Guys, they are dialed in from long range already. They didn't waste any time getting into a groove out sure there. Too. Another part of the game tonight where they've been effective is to get points in the paint. The first one falls. So for the Hawks. Akangwu checks in for Capella. Johnson comes in for Collins. And it's C.J. McCollum in for Bogdanovich. And 
Both free throws good for Brown. Atlanta's gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Defended by Brown. And he banks in the layup. And they're behind right now because they're failing to play quality defense. It's that simple. Rebounded by the Hawks. Outside Young. McCullum outside. Clock at six. Young, the pass to Johnson. Shoots over Dinwiddie. The shot by Johnson, no good. Boston has gone 0 for 2 from outside. inside kicks it out to Dinwiddie back to Brown here's Williams so it'll be two free throws he was fouled in the act of shooting that's his first personal foul team third shooting for Boston That free throw misses. Matthews, he's checked in for the Hawks. Herder comes in for Young. Payton's checked in for Boston. second one now here's McCollum well he hasn't scored yet but I'm sure that'll change pass to Johnson here's Matthews guarded by Peyton it's Herder on the wing five on the clock McCollum outside another three for Atlanta wow some strong perimeter shooting here in the first quarter. Smart passes to Williams. To the paint. Here's Tatum. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all-around performance. Well, if I was making up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. Here's Williams. Rebound Atlanta. Already plus five in terms of rebound margin. Who poked away. Payton passes to Williams. Back to Payton. Here's Dinwiddie. Out of bounds. Celtics ball as Boston keeps possession. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. to shoot. Here's Tatum. Yeah, a, a really rough opening quarter for them in terms of shooting. Can't nail the jumper. Pass to McCullum. Williams grabs the board. And he gets a lot of points right there at the rim, but the defense determined not to give up the easy deuce there. Puts it up. Hits the front of the rim and out. Atlanta's gone four or five from distance here in the first quarter. Johnson passes to McCullum. Here's a Kung Hu. 
Pass to Johnson. The Hawks need to get one up here. McCollum shot is off. Boston's gone 0 for 2 from outside. Now Dinwiddie. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. And some changes here for the Celtics. Curry comes in for Peyton. And Vincent is subbed in for Dinwiddie. Smart passes to Curry. Two minutes. Johnson against Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Smart. Pass to Vincent. Shot to end the cold streak. And he can't get that one. Ooh, some solid defense from Herter. And here's McCollum. Back to a Kongwu. McCollum outside. Pass to a Kongwu. Atlanta again missing. Austin shooting just 25% from the field in the first quarter. There's Tatum with the three. Rebounded by Johnson. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Here's Matthews. He's covered by Curry. Outside Johnson. Pass to Matthews. Shoots over Curry. No good. A bit long that time. There's 38 seconds left in the first quarter. Now here's Tatum. Looking to end this cold spell. Johnson with the defensive effort. Pass to McCollum. 15 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. From the arc. No good that time. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. The Hawks on top. They lead by 13. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And let's get you back to the action as game two is getting underway. You know, for the Hawks, this has been the game they've wanted to have. Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. Tatum with it. On the court for the Celtics. Second quarter underway. Tatum at four, while Williams patrols the middle. Then it's Neesmith, then there's Seth Curry, and it's Vincent in at point. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Pass to Johnson. Oh, there's the alley! Tammers the lob through. I know CJ plays the two-guard position alongside Lillard, but he does have point guard vision, and that's a great five. Now here's Curry. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Good. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Now here's Herter. It's a 13-point game. Pass to McCullum. Outside Herter. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCullum. McCollum's got three assists tonight. He drops yet another dive, just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Here's Neesmith. Tatum can't hit. 
I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Pass to Curry. Outside Tatum. And Williams punches it home. Coming into the league, putting up points was no problem for Tatum. But now he's creating scoring opportunities for others. McCollum with it. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Tatum against Johnson. Williams passes to Tatum. And it's blocked by Collins. Oh, sir. Collins sending that one away. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. The jump hook, and that one's good. Collins has got eight points. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. The baseline, Jay, and the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And that one falls for Curry. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Outside Young. Collins outside. Bogdanovich on the wing. Just five on the clock. Pass to Capella. And they forced the shot clock violation. Great D. Boston ball. Outside Curry. Brown finds Curry. That one drops for him. Seven points in the game. Yeah, this story in the second quarter much different than the one in the first. We're finally seeing some aggression. Pass to Bogdanovich. Offline with a three. The Celtics have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Here's Campbell. And here in the second quarter of action, as we approach four minutes played, kick out to Brown. Just five to shoot. Neesmith. The shot won't fall. And it'll be the Hawks taking it the other way. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's Young. Outside Bogdanovich. Defended by Brown. Kept alive. Brown with the block. There's the drive. And Brown with the stuff. Brown taking on all challengers. This kind of fearless approach is what his teammates and coaches love seeing. Collins outside. Pass to Bogdanovich. To end the drought. The rebound, Celtics. Outside Curry. Outside, Brown. Here's Campbell. No good there. That would have cut it to single digits. Atlanta's gone four of eight from three. A nice percentage. Collins passes to Young. He takes it in. Pass to Capella. Tatum pulls it in. Tatum's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Neesmith. 
And here's Brown. To the middle. And Neesmith gets it to go. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. Atlanta calls timeout. They're just giving away a run right now. The question is, can they stop the time? Hard to say right now. At this point, I've seen the coaches run through two or three iterations of defense. Is there a fourth? I'm not sure. The Celtics making a switch here. The Hawks leading. Collins outside. Tipped away. Pass to Young. Over Dinwiddie. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. And Clint Capella picks up the foul. That's his third foul so far. And the Hawks make it a change here. Okongwu's checked in. The Celtics also with a sub. Williams is checked in. And here's Boston. They're on an 11-2 run. Outside, Brown. Outside, Peyton. Up top, Dinwiddie. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Williams misses. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. Here's a Kongwu. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Young's got four assists in the game. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Nice play. Tatum consistent with that jump shot, especially off the catch. Outside Young. And there's the lob. Peyton with it. Now Bogdanovich defending. Down low. Here's Tatum. Williams passes to Dinwiddie. Outside Tatum. Outside Brown. From outside, off the mark. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. Outside Young. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Dinwiddie. Left side, Brown. Shoots over Young. A oh, nice shot by Brown. Brown's got six. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. Young against Dinwiddie. Driving to the basket. Boom! He jams it straight down. And this kind of six slam is just one of the reasons this team is in charge of this game right now, B.A. You know, there's an edge the way they play and a confidence they're not afraid to show. Outside Young. Bogdanovich against Dinwiddie. Shoots from 14. Dinwiddie with a rebound. Here are the Celtics with the ball. They're on a 16-6 run. Up high and down it goes on the lob. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. Oh, stolen by Peyton. Inside, here's Williams. And Williams punches it home. Got to give him credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. And how about the sequence in its entirety? Momentum swing, and you love the effort here. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. He recognized his players were fatigued and needed time to catch their breath. And the Celtics making a change here. Smart's checked in. Pass to Matthews. It doesn't go for him. And it's Boston the other way. Peyton with it. Williams in the post. A Kong Wu on him. Shot clock at six. Here's Tatum. And misses it off the right side of the rim. 
This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. And he lobs it up. Woo! <laughs> I just love that alley oop slam. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Then when he passes to Peyton. Now here's Tatum from deep. Drills it from deep. Tatum's got six here in the quarter. There's no lack of confidence in Tatum when it comes to his three-point shot. He's looking to do damage from long range on every possession. Now here's McCollum. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Been a struggle for him tonight, but if they can make this lead hold up, he can just chalk this up as one of those nights. Here's Matthews. The lead is two. Smart passes to Williams. And Williams punches it home. What a two-way play. Just tremendous. Yeah, the steal was slick. The slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. I have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Pass to Matthews. Back to Johnson. No stopping him there. Jams it in. And he's fouled. An opportunity to three-point play. That one on Tatum. Vincent's checked in for Peyton. At the line for your Hawks. Jalen Johnson. At the line for one shot. Free throw drops for Johnson. There's 53 seconds left in the half. Pass to Tatum. And he's going for the oop here. Yeah, elevating his playmaking skills over time, Tatum is a winner who enjoys setting up his teammates. McCullum outside. Tough break for the defense. I mean, he took the hit, but he didn't get the call. At the line for your Hawks. CJ McCullum at the line for two. The free throw drops for McCollum. A lot of questions in the early part of C.J. McCollum's career about could he become a valuable scorer in the league and really what position would he play. But after being the 10th overall pick in 2013, uh, he's answered those questions. And so he hits both. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Dinwiddie passes to Smart. Here's Tatum, covered by Johnson. And Tatum with the basket on the assist from Smart. Tatum's got nine points now in the quarter. That's his third three-pointer now after not getting any in the opening period. McCullum outside. Some solid defense from Williams. Tie game in Atlanta. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Checking out Atlanta. Getting out to a 2-0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. This game is definitely still up for grabs, the way these two teams are battling. Kenny, what was your take on Atlanta? We have to love the second unit. I mean, the effort they display, they're doing much more than giving the starters a break. We're seeing real intensity from them, particularly on the offensive end. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? Well, the low turnovers really stood out to me. They didn't get loose with it or make silly passes. Nothing was forced. They had a nice flow to the offense. Guys knew where to be on the floor. That's the heads-up style of play they need to bring in the second half. And welcome. 
Welcome back, folks, for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. The Celtics shooting 40% so far on this one. Collins at the four with Capella at center. In the backcourt, Young and Bogdanovich. So that's the Hawks' five. Tatum. Oh, Tatum slams it home. They fought so hard to get themselves in a position to win this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now, flow. Now here's Young. With the teardrop. And he lays it up and in. Young's got five. Well, the threat of Trey Young, we talk so much about gravity in the NBA. It's unlocking some other scoring options. Strong take. Here's Campbell. Pass to Brown. Outside Tatum. The three is up. The rebound by Bogdanovich. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. Now Collins. Bogdanovich finds Young. Now Collins. Williams defending. Shot clock at five. Brown with the steal. Here we go. Over Bogdanovich. Williams passes to Brown. Here's Neesmith. Collins defending. Five to shoot. Another shot. And Neesmith gets it to go. Neesmith's got a second basket. Keeping pace here. That's an excellent move inside. Outside Young. Collins outside. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. You know that block has him and his teammates all pumped up. That is what playoff basketball is all about. On defense, the Celtics. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Six on the shot clock. Yeah, with his length and athleticism, Tatum has the tools to be a lockdown defender. He seems to be in the right place at the right time more often than anybody that's on the court here tonight. You see that pay off. Here's Neesmith. Pass to Tatum. Over Capella. And he gets the friendly roll as that one goes. Tatum's got 21. Just under two and a half minutes into this third quarter now. Bogdanovich passes to Young. Back to Bogdanovich. To the inside. Here's Collins. Hauled in by Brown. The Celtics have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. Here's Campbell. Defended by Bogdanovich. Six to shoot. And here's Brown for three. Gets the three ball to go. And now it's a five-point Boston lead. His three-point shot looks so pure. The defense allowing him to get comfortable out there. Atlanta calls timeout. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Man, is he getting it done today? They got to be using this timeout to think about a personnel change or a game plan change to try to slow him down. Curry, he's checked in for Boston. Outside Young. Here's the teardrop, and the layup is good. Young's gotten four this quarter. So tricky there with the floater and a nice touch from Trey Young. Outside Curry, pass to Campbell. He can't get it to go, so Atlanta will take it the other way. Here's Young. Back to Bogdanovich. There's the three. The rebound by Neesmith. For Boston, they've gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. On the wing, Curry. Pass to Neesmith. 
Now here's Tatum. Defended by Bogdanovich. Jason. Oh, nice shot by Tatum. The Hawks trailing. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And here we go. The Celtics on the run. And he's going for the lob. The shot off that time. Collins with the defensive effort. And Atlanta shooting a solid 47%. Back to Young. Let's it fly. No good off the back of the rim. Boston's going one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Here's Campbell. And Collins with the big block. Driving in, and he goes in for the dunk. A nice ball rotation there by Collins, sharing the rock from the front court. The Celtics have gotten five of ten shots to go. Pass to Campbell. And here is Williams, guarded by Capella. Capella against Tatum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They'll pin that one on John Collins. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. The fantastic passing we saw from them in the first half carried right over into the second half, too. Most coaches would settle for the opposition taking mid-range jump shots, but tonight they're on fire from there. That one's off. Sinks the second. The Hawks have gone four of eight in the third. Smart against Young. Here's Herder. Pass to Johnson. The kick out to Young. Clock at six. Back to Johnson. Tatum with a steal. Outside Curry. Here's the three. Rebounded by the Hawks. Johnson's got rebound number five here tonight. Makangu, no good. The Celtics with the lead. Down low, the kick out, Curry. Outside Tatum. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. Young, the pass to McCollum. Outside Herder. And he lobs it up top. Oh, and Johnson slams it in. You got to keep the ball moving, and that time Herder's pass leads to an open look. Outside Tatum. Fires from deep. The rebound by the Hawks. Herder's got four rebounds in the game. Well, a fast start in the first half. Looks like he's playing the second half in the mud. McCullum, pass to Young. Floats one up. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCollum. McCollum's got six assists here tonight. Outside Tatum. Pass to Curry. From behind the arc. Gets the three to fall. Curry's got ten. You got to try to scramble the Jets right here and get that guy off the sweet spot. That's one of the best three-point shooters in the league. The ball's knocked loose. Tatum against Johnson. And it's blocked. What a play as he just snatches the shot out of midair. Rebounded by the Celtics. Outside Tatum. On the wing, Curry. Back to Tatum. And finished by Tatum. Wow. And we don't 
you'll always get to see this from Tatum, adding the sizzle to the steak. Smart against Young. And Seth Curry is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. He didn't have his feet planted. The Celtics making a switch here. Kongwu. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Give him eight points now. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assist. Tatum against Johnson. Tatum can't hit. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. A Kongwu with the bucket. They're playing great team basketball. It's good movement and sharp, crisp passing. Now here's Smart. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Vincent. Smart outside. Five on the clock. Here's Denwitty. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And the Celtics lead by five. For Atlanta, they've gotten eight of 14 attempts to go in the second half so far. Now Herder. Outside Johnson. Sinks it from distance. Johnson's got five points now in the quarter. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. Here's Vincent. Collins, he's checked in for Herder. Neesmith, he's checked in for Boston. Brown comes in for Smart. And the Celtics in possession here. Two-point game. Dinwiddie, right side. Outside, Brown. And Neesmith gets it to go. Neesmith's gotten his third basket of the night. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Inside, Dinwiddie left side. McCullough with a steal. Going all the way to the rack. On up the court. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot. So he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. I count one shot. We've got 118 left to play in the third. Pass to Nee Smith. Here's Vincent. And here's Tatum. Six on the shot clock. Outside, Brown. Here's Denwitty. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got his fourth rebound in this one. Throws it up high. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt. Jumps up. Finished That's off the end. break. Dinwiddie's really gotten his second yeah, bucket of the game. Good. That was execution to perfection. Textbook transition offense. Yeah, once you burst through a seam like that, you got to look right towards the rim. Sweet play. Now here's Collins. He's got 10. Pass to McCullum. Dinwiddie with a rebound. Dinwiddie's got four rebounds now. Now Tatum. And the call will be against Jason Tatum. That'll be a second foul of the game. Well, after committing a turnover like that, you're just praying the game doesn't come down to the last possession. You'll remember that one. Now 
Cao Young. From deep. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's Jason Tatum making highlights for Boston. 25 points and counting for him. They have relied heavily on his offense. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. You talk about painting a magnificent picture with that dime. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. It's the fourth quarter. Come on, y'all. Happy to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. Taking a look at the Celtics. Jalen Brown is out there with Neesmith. Then there's Jason Tatum, and it's Dinwiddie in at the two. Dinwiddie passes to Brown. To the right side. There's Tatum with the three. Good. And Brown gets the assist. Tatum's got 11 points here in the second half. Growing into his role as a franchise player, Tatum with a huge game. It's been so much fun watching him tonight. And out of bounds, the Celtics will take it. Well, that's two teammates who need to reintroduce themselves to one another, not on the same page. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Hawks. Boston has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Pass to Campbell. Now here's Tatum. Fires the three. A rebound by the Hawks. Collins has got five rebounds tonight. Young, the pass to Capella. And he lobs it up, and Collins with the slam. And when Collins gets up there like that, look out. A few possessions into the fourth, just over a minute play. And Boston calls time here. And one thing I've learned through the years is no matter the situation, there are always adjustments you can make. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. You've got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Hey guys, the head coach for Boston had some instruction for his guys during the break. With the game being this tight, each possession takes on a greater importance. He told his players, quote, be in the moment. If something doesn't go our way, don't dwell on it. Focus on the next play. Guys? As always, Allie, we thank you. Shot is good. Off the back rim and in. And it's a tie ball game. They've really picked up the energy level and have built themselves back into this game. Well, they didn't really have a choice at the position that they were. They had to fight hard. They've gotten that. They've outworked the other team. Just fighting. Tatum can't hit. I think if I was coaching these guys right now, especially him, I'd tell him, you take one more three-point shot, and we're going to have some, some conversations here side by side. That one's good for two. Zero rim protection. Unforgivable in a tight ball game like this. Well, I hope there's one player on that team out there that has interest in winning this game. Right now, it doesn't look to be one. The Hawks have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Here's Capella. Nice D from Tatum. The Celtics have gotten only one of five to fall here in the fourth. To the wing, right side. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Campbell can't hit. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. To the middle. Back to Collins. He's got it. Six of ten now. <laughs> you know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Pass to Tatum. They need this. Knocks it down from distance. Tatum's got six points in the quarter. That's exactly the kind of shooting you need down the stretch to win games. And the Hawks call time here. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. Oh. 
The Celtics making a switch here. Williams is checked in. Here's Young. Here's Capella. It's not going to go for him. Some solid defense from Williams. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Just five on the clock. Here's Brown. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. The officials were right on top of that one. At line for the Celtics. Jalen Brown at the line for two. it up and his next one could give him the lead and the free throw is good now leading by one for Atlanta they've gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter Side Young to the paint. Grant Collins with the slam. Solid night so far. Confidence rising in this game. The Celtics have gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Pass to Tatum. Stolen by Young. That shot off. And Boston going the other way now. The drive by Tatum. Good on the shot. Jason Tatum. Tatum's got 16 in the second half. Down the stretch, he's been flat out awesome. He helped them get the lead, and now he's making sure they keep it. Here's Young. Oh, the teardrop falls in. And the Hawks lead by one. Ridiculous handles there. How effective is he at creating opportunities? Tatum against Bogdanovich. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Tatum's got 35. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Collins outside. Pass to Young. Jacks up a three. Finds it again. Six for 12 and remaining assertive. Are we sure that's the same player, guys? He looks completely different. What confidence he's playing with, and look how engaged he is on both ends. Now here's Tatum. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Boston trailing. Out to the wing. Pass to Campbell. Down to five on the shot clock. The offensive rebound. And he makes it. Just owning the offensive glass right now. Just refusing to let up. Well, we saw the same kind of attack in the last game. Ferocious effort in back-to-back -back out. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Pass to Tatum. Here's Campbell. And that's collected by Trey Young. For Atlanta, they've gone 8 of 11 from the field in the fourth. Bogdanovich with it. Young with it. Williams defending. From the top of the key. Out to the right wing. Hits a three-pointer. And the Hawks lead by three. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. Outside, Brown. Here he goes. And the shot goes in. Brown's got four points now in the quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Capella in the high post. 
Strikes out. Rebounded by the Celtics. Tatum's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Pass to Campbell. Driving inside. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. And the shot's good. Trey Young, looking like one of those young players who on a nightly basis gives you something you haven't seen before. And here's Tatum. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That one on Capella. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Hawks. They haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They've been the aggressors. Another thing they've done well tonight is to share the basketball. So many of their buckets have just been off crisp offensive sets, setting up their shooters. And he makes a first. During his rookie year, Jason Tatum battled LeBron in the Eastern Conference Finals. Tatum's been an impact from the moment he joined the league. The Hawks making a switch here. Johnson's checked in. Denwitty, he's checked in for Boston. Good on both. That's what he does. Rock solid at the line. Atlanta's gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Outside Johnson. Pass to Young. There's the drive. Two points. That one goes. Young's got nine points in the quarter. Maybe the halftime break was good for him. Allowed him to step back, calm himself down, get himself in the right frame of mind, and now shots are falling. Now here's Tatum. Yep, count it. Tatum's got 39. Now that basket must be widening out right now, and he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Capella, the pass to Young. And he lobs it up to the rim! And a slam dunk by Capella. And when the time is right, Capella can get up there. Great job rising up for the bucket. Here's Tatum. He can't get that one to fall. Johnson with the defensive effort. They've been winning the rebound battle today. Another big board right there. Young, the pass to Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. Oh, Capella stays ready. I mean, he's not his team's top scoring option, but he makes plays when he needs to. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. You could really see his squad was losing steam. Smart timeout to give them a breather. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. Yeah, really the standout element of this game tonight was his offense and his ability to get inside by cutting the defense to shreds, finding lanes, even making them, and relentlessly attacking the hoop. On defense, the Hawks. Brown finds Williams. Here's Neesmith. Down low. Young against Dinwiddie. Lays it up and banks it in. It's winning time, and that's a winning play. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And this short amount of time should be beneficial to these players to catch their breath a little bit, while at the same time replenishing their energy by drinking some Gatorade as we head into the final stretch of this game. Atlanta's gone 7 of 14 from the perimeter in this one. Young, the pass to Capella. Bogdanovich on the wing, defended by Brown. Outside Young. Just five to shoot. An easy two on the layup. Young's got 11 points in the quarter. Embracing the big moment is Trey Young. And there's the lob. Hey, great communication on the lob. Nice touch on both ends of that alley-oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. Young inside. He's covered by Dinwiddie. Here's Capella. Nice shot there. Making him 8 for 13. Inside, Capella's physical ability makes the difference. He can get vertical, bump with you, whatever it takes. Atlanta with a rebound. 
inside Bogdanovich. Johnson passes to Young. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Trey Young. That's foul number two for him. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. There's a minute 26 left in the fourth quarter here. Tatum against Capella from down low. Offensive board. As a big, once you get position inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. Johnson with a bucket. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. And they're going to count that bucket and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. So far, he's a can't-miss player. A superb scorer who plays to his strength. leading 55 seconds left in the final quarter here's young and there it is for him it's in trey young comes up huge this time looking like the go-to guy things aren't looking good here i mean they need points and they need them back looking unlikely right here that time ticking away tatum finds williams count it what elevation he's a smaller but still determined big man and he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. And it's Atlanta's ball. And an intentional foul right there. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Celtics on D. Outside Johnson. There's Bogdanovich with the three. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Capella. Now, I'm all for the crowd interacting with the players, but not so much the players interacting with the crowd. That one, Aaron Pass. And Boston calls time here. They're losing by four. 27 seconds left in the fourth. Seven seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. Pass to Neesmith. Oh, there's the alley! And Williams punches it home. Great teamwork and great timing. Oh, spectacular play. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. They're on top by two. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we've got an intentional foul. Yeah, just a must-foul situation to stop the clock. Two seconds. Young, taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. As much as we talk about Trey Young and then mention Steph Curry in the same breath, I think Trey wants to carve out his own path. You know he's a dynamic shooter, can set the table offensively. Now it's about learning the nuances of being a leader of a franchise. And here's Brown for three. Capella with a rebound. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, no choice but to foul in that situation. Although, that's not the guy you want to send to the free throw line. I count two shots. He drops the first one, and that puts him up five. And so he drops them both, and it's a six-point ball game. 
Ooh, I think that's a wrap. And I can tell you, you can't have more pressure-packed free throws than the ones that are going to seal the game. And so it's Atlanta with the W. And this win shows they have the momentum so far in this series. Up two games to none now. They just look so confident out there. They're playing selfless ball, and their chemistry has never looked better. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Bogey, this team has so much talent. But talk about how you're gelling and finding ways collectively to win ball games. I've been talking this whole season. It's about the chemistry and something will be heavy side of the locker room and amazing teammates that will make us great and that will give us all these wins. You can feel that chemistry out there. Thanks, Bogey. All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. Time for us to say so long. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage during the second round of the NBA Eastern Conference playoffs. For Ali LaForce, Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and our entire 2K Sports crew, this is Brian Anderson signing off. So long, everybody.